Ever checked your raised bed, expecting worms and found nothing? It's not bad luck. Most worm die-offs are caused by common gardening mistakes. Today, I'll reveal the top habits that quietly kill earthworms, and how to fix them fast. We'll cover what to stop, what to start, and a simple 7-day rescue plan. Worms are your soil's health indicator. When conditions are right, they thrive. When wrong, they vanish. Get moisture, temperature, and organic matter right, and worms will call your bed home. Let's dive into the mistakes and the solutions. Raised beds are praised for drainage, but if your soil mix is too heavy or lacks a drainage layer, winter rain can turn it into a soggy, airless sponge. Worms breathe through their skin and need moist, oxygen-rich soil. Waterlogged beds suffocate them. Do the squeeze test, grab a handful of soil and squeeze. If water drips out, it's too wet. Fix it by mixing in coarse compost, pine fines, or a bit of perlite to improve structure and drainage. In cool months, water only when the top inch is dry. Don't stick to a schedule. Avoid heavy peaty commercial mixes that compact over time. Remember, worms in raised beds can't escape poor conditions, so it's up to you to keep their home balanced. Manage moisture, and you'll see worms return within days. Healthy drainage is the foundation for a thriving, worm-rich bed. Leaving your bed bare after harvest is one of the worst things for soil life. Bare soil is exposed to wind, rain, and wild temperature swings, devastating for worms and microbes. The fix? Always cover your bed. A 2-3 to three inch layer of shredded leaves, compost, or straw insulates, protects, and feeds the soil. Mulch mimics nature's blanket, stabilizing temperature and moisture, and feeding fungi, worms' favorite food. In spring, you'll find moist, crumbly soil teeming with worms, not a hard crust. Skip the bare, tidy look. Mulch is the sign of a living, cared-for bed. Apply mulch after clearing crops. No digging needed. Worms will do the rest. Covered beds gain fertility and life. Bare beds lose both. Adding fresh manure or too much high nitrogen fertilizer can burn worms and kill soil life. Hot inputs like fresh manure release ammonia and heat as they break down, deadly for worms. Always compost manure and green materials for at least six months before adding to beds. Apply finished compost as a thin top dressing, not in clumps or deep layers. Use wood ash sparingly, a light dusting only or risk making soil too alkaline for worms. Avoid aggressive tilling, which physically disrupts worm burrows. Feed your soil slowly with stable, well-rotted organics. Let worms and microbes do the work. Patience and gentle inputs create a sanctuary for worms, not a danger zone. Even organic fertilizers and manures can cause salt buildup in raised beds, dehydrating and repelling worms. Signs include a white crust on the soil, stunted plants, and, of course, no worms. If you suspect salt, stop all concentrated feeds and flush the bed with plenty of clean water. Long term, switch to slow release feeding, top dress with compost and mulch with leaves. Avoid overusing strong liquid feeds or salty amendments like wood ash. Build fertility with organic matter, not quick fixes. Restore balance and worms will return to a safe, moist environment. Constant digging and turning is an earthquake for worms, destroying their tunnels and the fungal networks that make soil healthy. Worms build stable burrows that aerate and fertilize soil. Aggressive digging collapses their world. The solution? Go no dig. Add compost and mulch to the surface and let worms do the mixing. Top dress with compost in fall or spring, then mulch. No need to dig it in. 
worms will pull organic matter down, enriching soil naturally. Over time, you'll build rich, dark, easy-to-work soil without ever turning it. No dig isn't lazy, it's smart, and it lets worms thrive as nature's engineers. Trust your subterranean partners. They'll reward you with fertile, living soil. Earthworms are your soil's living report card. Their presence means you're doing things right. Fix moisture, cover with mulch, avoid chemical and physical shocks, and stop disturbing the bed. The worms will return, confirming your success. Want my winter worm magnet mulch recipe? Comment worms below and I'll pin it for you. Like and subscribe for more tested organic soil fixes. Thanks for watching.